Wow, here we go. Man. And I want to say, first of all, uh, and Jesse Sumlet is on trial right now. It's going on still actively. Hit that thumbs up button if you watch. I need that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Um, he's 39 years old. You too old for this, dog. I didn't know he was that old. I really didn't. You pushing 40 playing these games? So Don Lemon from CNN, uh, or what JoJo Brown calls it, uh, the Crying Negro Network, uh, Basically, Don Lemon's gotten caught up into this whole Jesse Somlet case where there were text messages where Don Lemon uh, was giving him a tip about him being investigated by the police and that people, because this went on for two months. It doesn't seem like it, but it did. And people were kind of calling the bluff. I didn't believe it when the boy said he was going to get a sandwich at two in the morning in Chicago. I just didn't buy it. Um, but he tipped him. And then Jesse puts him out there on blast in, in the testimony and says that, yeah, Don Lemon gave me a text hint. And that also maybe that's the reason why he didn't want to hand his phone over to the cops because he knew they were going to see those text messages. And this is not too long after uh, brother Chris Como got uh, fired, you know, after his whole brother's, you know, Governor Como sexual uh, harassment case. So CNN's a mess right now. I mean, news used to be real. It used to be an acronym, notable entertainment, weather, sports. Now it's a joke. It's a joke. The national media is a joke. Nobody, but then people, they wonder why people aren't watching like they used to. Who wants to be lied to and just have their intelligence insulted? And then on top of that, everything is biased. Nothing's objective. Everyone's got a horse in the race. You, you watch Tucker Carlson, you know what side of the fence he's on. You turn to CNN, you know what they pumping out. This whole thing was to push this this fake hate sex crime, gay crime was to to me two things to push a sympathetic agenda for for, for well, you know who and to create more division between uh, I guess black men in general with this fake scam that he came up with. You know now if you want to watch the news and have your intelligence insulted, you could do that. You could take the Denzel and Training Day route. You know like this paper is ninety percent bullshit, but I read it every day. Why? Because it entertains me. You won't let me read it with your bullshit, so you entertain me. Tell me a story. And we'll watch this shit because we some people just want to be entertained. So, you know, I can't blame you. But a lot of people have been conditioned to watch the news every day when they want to know what's going on. I stopped doing that years ago and just started doing my own research. And sometimes your, your, your natural instincts will tell you when some shit just don't, don't sound right. You know what I mean? It just don't sound realistic at all. Uh, and... This boy is under flames. I, I'm just surprised he's 39 years old doing this. But uh, now people are blasting CNN. Uh, more activism by an uh, anchor at CNN. The network needs to address how this, this publicly. They might have to let Don Lemon go. I doubt it if they'll fire him. He might have to be too embarrassed to just stay and just leave. You know what I mean, he done made enough money with White Zaddy. I don't think he needs any more bread. He's pretty, you know, he's pretty well taken care of. It's, it's not a good look. You know, some people have already been, uh, I thought, to me, CNN really got exposed when Hillary ran her last uh, term. That's when they really got exposed, all them emails and everything. Um, now Jesse's on trial, and he's still saying that this is not a Hawks. He paid those guys $3,500, just a bunch of stuff. Now he's saying he's got permanent scars. And you got to remember, this guy's an actor. So, of course, he's going to come up there with, with those crocodile tears. and He's an actor. And his sister's amazing, by the way. You know what I mean? Beautiful girl. Which sucks because she's dope. And she got to deal with this, this, this psycho for her little brother or whatever. You know, now he's trying to use the black card. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and read this. He says, I, and I quote, I am a black man in America. I do not trust the police. I'm also a well-known figure at that time. And then he says, I'm an openly gay man. Well, you are black in America. You don't trust the police. I can see that in certain cases. Uh, he says he was a well-figured, well-known figure because at the time he was on Empire. Um, but now you're trying to throw in the race card on top of you being gay and trying to get sympathy from it. If you're going to be openly gay. Don't try to ex expect to get sympathy. You, know, you want to choose to be that and leave, live that life openly. You got to roll with the punches. Don't try to use your sexuality for sympathy. But that was the corny shit that he did. Now he's saying, oh, this is fully false, 100% false. 
So now defense attorneys have suggested that these brothers accused some lead of staging the Hawks because they disliked them and they saw an opportunity to make money. They suggested that after the brothers were questioned by police of the alleged attack, they asked some let for a million each to not testify against him at trial. Wow. Them niggas, what they throwing the book at you, you gotta pay them a million to shut up. No wonder why he trying to act like this is fake, cause they want money. So some let lawyers have argued that Chicago police rushed to judgment when they brought charges. Yeah. How many hours of fraudulency did you charge Chicago police? You had people out here for hours and days, weeks looking for this. Wasting people time. You know, now he's going through all of this stuff. He's uh, going into detail. I don't know these guys' names. I mean, Mbala, he's, he, I don't, I can't pronounce these names. I ain't even gonna hold you, Chief. Uh, but he's saying he met one of them at a club in 2017 and they worked on the Empire set. So these guys were like back, you know, Empire standoff, standby guys. Says the two men did drugs together, went to a bathhouse, they made out. Then he said they did more drugs, participated in sexual acts, and they did not have a, a sexual relationship. Um, and he just goes on and on. So yeah, Jesse pretty much is gonna keep continue this. At some point, he's gonna catch himself in one of these lies, and I think that's how they're gonna end this trial. Because you can't just keep wrapping up. How many lies do you keep on piling up? You can't keep up with all of those lies at some point. It's easy to keep up with the truth. It's hard to remember all those lies. Uh, but now he's charged with six counts of felony disorderly conduct for making prosecutors say it was a false police report. Um, one count for each time he gave a report to the three different officers and a class four felony carries a prison sentence up to three years. Yeah. Lock him up, man. Lock his ass up, throw away the key. He needs to sit down. He needs some help. If you want to say this is a mental health issue, I don't think this is a mental health issue. This was someone who was pushing an agenda. He got caught. And he's an actor. So save me the tears. Save me all of that. This kid's been acting his whole life. He's 40 years old. Grow up. You know what I mean? Man up. Do your dirt. What happened to those all them federal charges that got dropped? You know? And I want to see what Don Lemon is going to say. I really want to see what he's going to say. Because this don't make him look good either. People are now saying that Don Lemon should resign. I think he should too. Get him out of here. Don Lemon is the fame guy last year who was throwing Ice Cube under the bus, telling black folks Ice Cube's a sellout because Ice Cube was willing to talk to whoever was going to be in office for a simple black agenda. And y'all ran with that narrative. And a lot of people who were pushing that narrative, where they at now? Where's D.L. Hughley at? Joe Biden's talking about we're doing better than ever. Really? <laughs> Where are the people that told y'all to vote for Joe Biden? Where are they at now? And the people that called, the black people that called Ice Cube a sellout. Where are they at? Don Lemon's one of them. We need to get rid of some of these clowns like this that push these false agendas in the news because it really don't do nothing. And all it does is hurt black folks. You mislead people. And that's all Don Lemon is being paid to do. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Hit that thumbs up before y'all leave. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out.